So hi everyone, we are back with an amazing tutorial on model context protocol and this time I have connected WhatsApp. Yes, you heard it right. I have connected my WhatsApp to Cloud AI. Now Cloud AI would be read out all my chats, would be able to reply on my behalf and do everything. So here you can see that I just sent one of my friends a message through Cloud AI, sending through Cloud AI as you can see here. So let me show you one demonstration and then I'll be uh, explaining you how to set up WhatsApp MCP for free using Cloud AI. So let's get started. So here you can see that I've opened my Cloud AI and if you scroll down a bit, there are multiple options for WhatsApp MCP as well. But here you can say send a message, send a WhatsApp message to specified phone number and then get started. So let me show you how I sent a message. I'll be showing you the WhatsApp log for that friend again where Cloud A would be able to send a message on my behalf. So let me type in the query. Send a WhatsApp message. Hi buddy, I'm using WhatsApp MCB. It's great. It's Cloud AI calling on my behalf. Now I will update the number and I will blur this out so that you don't see my friend's number. So as you can see, it is now started asking for access for WhatsApp local. Message successfully sent to my friend's number. Hi buddy. So let me show you now again back to WhatsApp AI. And here you can see that the message is appearing here. Hi buddy, I'm using WhatsApp MCP. It's great. It's Cloud A calling on my behalf. So this is how you can also connect your WhatsApp and let Cloud take over WhatsApp also. So now let me show you the entire process how to do this. So we would be using WhatsApp hyphen MCP as you can see this particular Git repo and we will be following all the instructions mentioned here. So first of all, you need to get clone this repo as you can see and go to WhatsApp hyphen MCP and then run go. You need to have go installed in your system. If not, you can just Google search go and install it. Let me show you that too. So here you can see that download and install. It's quite easy to install. It is a MSI file. You need to install it and then run the exe file. Once you have installed go, I'll be showing the rest of the steps now. You need to go to cd whatsapp hyphen bridge that I'll be showing you and then run go run main go. Once you run this particular point, you would be uh, prompted a QR code that you need to scan to connect your whatsapp to your local system. Let me show you that. Now here you need to run go run main dot go. Once you run this, as you can see, successfully authenticated. And now once I click on allow, my WhatsApp gets connected. If you're doing for the first time, you, you would be prompted a QR code. I've already done this. So the QR code is not getting prompted for me, right? You need to scan that QR code using your WhatsApp scan code. And then your WhatsApp gets connected to your local system. Once you have done with this, the next steps are quite easy to follow up. You need to now change your config file. If you remember uh, in MCP, we need to change the cloud config file also. So I'll be showing you that also what you need to add here. As you can see, this is the uh, MCP server that we need to add in the config file now. So this is the config file that I'm showing you. WhatsApp command is if you're using Windows, you need to provide the full path for UV as well. I've already showed this in my previous MCP tutorials. Do follow them out if you have any confusion how to install UV in your local system. And then you need to mention these arguments. The full path of the WhatsApp MCP server Git repo that you have cloned, run and then main.py. Once you are done with this, you don't need to do much. You just need to go to your task manager and then end task. You need to close out Claude completely before relaunching it. And once you relaunch it, you should be able to see all the tools for WhatsApp MCP that is search messages as you can see send messages list contacts etc so this is how you can connect whatsapp with cloud ai using mcp and this is turning out to be a game changer i think ai agents now are becoming more complex and this is a time you should all be worried about thank you so much now cloud AI can take control of your whatsapp also